Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. There's been a lot of confusion and a lot of questions in regards to Modern Warfare 3 and the extension of DMZ within Warzone. And up until this point, we really haven't heard much about DMZ's future. Obviously, uh, you know, leading up to Call of Duty next this past week, we had information on MW3 multiplayer and the carryover content of MW2 being available there. We had some information on the Warzone update and obviously Call of Duty next ended up uh, revealing a ton of information on that. And we finally got some clarification on the future of DMZ within Warzone and within Modern Warfare. And, well, it doesn't necessarily look good. It's going to continue existing, but not in the way you probably thought or were hoping for if you are a fan of DMZ. Now, you may recall that back when we first initially got the announcement for Call of Duty Next in the reveals for MW3, I made a video around the idea that DMZ was being quote-unquote canceled or discontinued in a sense. And... It seems like that video was more true than anything now that we have official info. We'll expand though, obviously, as we get into the details here. As we do so, if you enjoy the video, even though it might not be your favorite news ever, do me a favor, drop a like. It does really help support the channel and help the channel grow. And if you're new here, you want to guarantee you are always up to date on a daily basis with what's going on in COD between updates, news, reveals, setups, meta breakdowns, you name it, it's all right here. So feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. But this is the official communication that we got for DMZ and the future of it from Call of Duty. This actually took place just prior to Call of Duty Next. And obviously, we've been super busy with everything going on with MW3. But they say Modern Warfare 2 DMZ community update. Right away, it's very important to note there is no Warzone hashtag associated with that. That's been a thing throughout the year when it comes to DMZ communication. Warzone's been a part of it. This is just MW2 DMZ's community update. Although DMZ will not be showcased at COD Next this week, we're excited to share that we will continue to support the DMZ beta. Players will have continuing infiltration opportunities for all Mazra, Ashika Island, Vondel, as well as Building 21 and Kashki Complex. Thank you for your continued support and dedication to the beta. We will share further updates closer to Season 1. So season one is going to be taking place in early December. That's when the Warzone integration will happen for MW3 and quote unquote Warzone 3 has its official update there. Uh, so they're apparently going to talk more about this. But while this is confirming that DMZ is not being removed from existence and Thanos snapped into, you know, a black hole, it is not the update that I imagine DMZ players were wanting to hear because this essentially confirms that DMZ is probably going to have a very similar treatment to that of Warzone Caldera when we got Warzone 2. Now, they say they're going to reveal some further updates to Season 1, so maybe they're going to adjust some of the missions and contracts there, but as far as major gameplay-altering updates go for DMZ, things seem very unlikely, given the fact that DMZ's gameplay loop is being merged with zombies obviously for modern warfare 3 with modern warfare zombies now i'll be the first to admit uh, i haven't played a ton of dmz this year outside of season one and season two and the prospect of open world zombies with what's been revealed so far i'm not really a huge fan of i much prefer the round based classic style that treyarch always is extremely good at developing so i'm reserving my zombies anticipation for cod 2024 basically but there's no denying that this year with modern warfare zombies it really is DMZ, but zombies. It's PvE only, no PvP, but same style of open world dynamics, just instead of AI bots everywhere, it's zombies. It's kind of a, a makeshift mode, I guess, to have a co-op mode for MW3, but it is the quote-unquote DMZ replacement. Now, I am hoping that with their further communication closer to Season 1, they're going to explain how this is going to work because we have other additional details that raise more questions with how DMZ is going to function associated to Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Since we have this whole Call of Duty HQ app now, I'm not going to lie, I'm not really a big fan of it. It seems clunky to navigate and awkward and weird but regardless we know now for sure that when season one happens uh this year when modern warfare 3 integrates with warzone warzone is going to launch with the brand new yurzik stand map that we saw at cod next it's going to have a sheikah island 
and it's gonna have Vondel. And then the modes for those maps are gonna be Battle Royale, Resurgence, and Plunder. Pretty standard there, but it's nice to see that Resurgence and Battle Royale and Plunder are all gonna be there right away. And we have multiple maps too. So Resurgence on Ashika Island and Vondel will be standard just like it is now, but with the MW3 updates. And those maps will also be available for MW2 DMZ with that standard of gameplay that we already have this year with MW2. In addition to that, we also got confirmation that ranked play for Warzone's Yurzik stand map is not coming until early 2024. So that's not happening right at season one when the integration happens. And the reason that this is important is because this means all Mazra is only going to be a DMZ map moving forward once we get to season one. While it obviously is our current Battle Royale map and current main DMZ map, there's no mention of Almazra carrying forward into the Modern Warfare 3 Warzone integration. Yurzikstan is where Ranked is going to be. Yurzikstan is the big Battle Royale map for launch. Now, that's not to say Almazra doesn't come back later on in, uh, you know, the in-season year, the post-launch content year, and it comes back into the rotation for big maps, but... This does mean that essentially, if you want to play Almazra after Season 1, you have to go back to DMZ. If you want to play DMZ, it's only associated with MW2 now, and it's not going to be receiving any major content updates or major gameplay updates that we know of as of right now. The question is, is it still going to be tethered to the free-to-play portion of Warzone? In which case, you're now going to have a sub-menu of... MW3 Warzone with the current content, Yurzikstan, Ashika, and Vondel, and then a sub menu of DMZ going all the way back to Almazra, different gameplay mechanics with the bad movements and the clunky looting and different perks and stuff. It's going to be very interesting to see how they separate DMZ and Almazra out of what Warzone is now, considering that all year long, DMZ has been a subsection of Warzone as they're both free to play. So there's a lot of questions that are still here, but we do have an official answer now as to what's going to happen to DMZ. It's still going to exist, but it's not carrying into MW3. So it's not discontinued, but it's not being updated frequently like everything else is going to be. So if you're a fan of DMZ gameplay, you are probably going to be looking at a very bland upcoming year considering you're not going to see much innovation, whereas multiplayer and Warzone are getting quite a bit of that, which is unfortunate there. But really now, we just have to await further clarification as to what the heck is going to go on with the separation of the modes now that it seems like they're going to be playing in two separate instances. So while we get one major answer uh, and, and confirmation that Modern Warfare 3 is basically officially canceling DMZ's future and continuation, that one answer just raises a bunch more questions about how it's still going to live on without a future of MW3 being associated with it. Obviously, as we get any new information on this and new intel, I'm going to be sure to keep you guys updated. So stay tuned for that alongside everything else going on in COD. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and, of course, turn on those post notifications. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, drop a like on it. It is always appreciated. But that's effectively going to wrap things up for this one. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. and I'll catch you later. Peace out.